Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, we'll be using Divi's new column filter settings to create stunning blending effects. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start by creating a brand new page. Right now, I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So all I have to do is to come over here, click on add new, and then we're gonna give this page a name. I'm just gonna call this column filter. Click on Use Divi Builder. Now for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Build from Scratch. However, you can use this technique on any existing page. So I'm gonna click here on Build from Scratch. And the first thing we're gonna do here is to choose our columns. So I'm gonna go with three columns. I'm gonna close this for now because uh, I'm gonna come back and add all my modules. So the next stage now is to go to my section settings. So I'm gonna come over here to this gear icon. And what I wanna do here is I need to add some margin and some padding. So I'm gonna come over here to design spacing. So for my left and right margin, I'm gonna set this to 3VW. So I'm just gonna add it in here and click on this chain so that my value will be applied to both sides. Next, I'm gonna add my top and bottom padding and this is gonna be 84 pixels and again, I'm gonna activate this chain so the value can be applied both to the top and the bottom. Right, so the next stage now is to go into the row settings. So I'm just gonna save this for now. Click here on row settings. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to add a background to my row. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this plus button, and I'm gonna paste my color in here. Now, if you wanna use the exact same color as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that I've added my color, the next stage is to add my image. So I'm gonna come over here on the third tab, click this plus button, and I'm gonna choose my image. Now notice here, my image size is 1600 by, 80, uh, by 822 pixels. So if you wanna use or achieve the same results as I'm trying to do here, you need to use the exact same dimensions. All right, so I'm gonna click upload an image, and then I'm also gonna come over here to my blending modes, and I'm gonna choose multiply. So this just gives uh, this image here a beautiful design to it. So now that I've added my background, the next stage is to come over here to design sizing. So what we need to do here is to start by adding our gutter width. So I'm gonna click here on activate. Now the gutter width is the distance between the columns. So I'm gonna, set, I'm gonna reduce this to one. And this means whatever we have in these columns here, they won't be any spaces. Okay, so I also need to equalize column heights and I also need to set my width to 100% and my maximum width to 100%. So this ensures that everything is edge to edge. So the next stage is to come over here to spacing because here I am going to reduce my padding both to the top and the bottom and this is gonna be zero pixels. So I'm gonna go ahead, activate my chain. Next, I'm gonna add a box shadow. So I'm gonna come over here and the style I'm gonna go with is this one right here. And then I'm gonna come to the advanced tab, click on visibility. And here we are going to set our Z index to one. Okay, so this is looking great so far. The next stage is to style column one. So I'm gonna come over here to content and this is where we need to go to style column one. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. Next, we need to click here on design, and then we're gonna come over here to filters. And on the blend mode here, I'm gonna change this to screen. Right, so the next stage is to add a hover transform. So I'm gonna come over here to transform. And the option I need to go with is the first one here, which is the transform scale. But um, action I need to add is on hover. So I'm gonna click on this little arrow pointing up, click on the hover. And then I'm just gonna increase this to 105%. And this needs to be applied both to the X and Y axis. And then over here on the advanced tab, I'm gonna to come to visibility and make sure horizontal overflow and vertical overflow is set to visible. So I'm just gonna set it here. And then over here on transitions, I'm gonna set this to 500 milliseconds. So pretty much we're done here with our column settings. I'm gonna save this and then save one more time. Next, I'm gonna add a text module here. So I'm gonna click on this plus button, search for my text module and select it. So what we need to do here is to just delete some of this text and uh, just add a heading and set it to heading two. And now I need to uh, add a background to my heading text. So I'm gonna come over here, click on the second tab, click on the plus button because here we need to add a gradient. So I'm gonna paste my value in here, click over here, add my second value. Now, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same 
um, colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Right, so the next thing we need to do now is to set our gradient direction. So I'm going to come over here, make sure it's set to linear, and I'm just going to add my direction here, and it's going to be 235 degrees. And our start position here is going to be 37%. Now, the next thing we need to do here is, as you can see, our text here um, needs a bit of uh, breathing space. So I'm going to come over here to design spacing and uh, the first thing i'm going to do is to add a top and bottom padding and this is going to be 6vw and then i'm also going to add a left and right padding but this is going to be half of that which is 3vw both to the left and the right now we need to uh, customize our heading text so i'm going to come over here to heading text make sure you've got the heading to tab selected and the first thing I'm going to do here is to just make sure my font is ultra bold. It's all caps and my text color needs to be set to black. So I'm just going to drag the slider all the way down here until I get black. Now it's time to add my text size and uh, we're going to set this to 5VW. Now what you also may want to do here is to set your tablet and mobile phone settings. So to do that, you want to click here on this little icon. And for your tablet, you want to set this to 11VW. And for the phone, it's going to be 13VW. Okay, so as you can see, this looks much better now. All right, so back over here on the desktop, let's add our line height. So I'm going to come over here. And by default, it's set to 1EM, but we want this to be set to 4.3VW. Now let's head over to the filters. So over here, we are going to set our filter here to screen and save now it's time to add our second text module so i'm going to come over here search for my text module and select it this time our background is going to be set to white so i'm going to come over here set my background to white now let's uh, customize our text so i'm going to come over here to design text and the first thing i'm going to do is to change my font from default to monster rat so i'm going to search for it and by the way this is a free font so you can go ahead and uh, download it Okay, so here it is. Next, I need to make sure everything is justified. So I'm gonna come over here, text alignment, justified. And I also need to add my text color. So for this color to really stand out, it's gotta be a slightly dark color. So I'm gonna set this to a gray. So I'm gonna paste it in here. And as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using, I'll leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so the next stage now is to add our text size and I'm gonna set this to 0.8 VW. And this may also need some uh, letter spacing. So I'm gonna come over here and set my letter spacing to minus uh, 0.04. And then finally, I'm gonna to go to my line height and set this to 2.7. So as you can see, our text here is way too close to the edges. So this is where we wanna go in and add some margins and also some padding. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here, click on spacing, and I'm going to start with the margins. So I'm going to add a 0.5 both to the top and the bottom. And for the padding, we're also going to add this to the top and the bottom. So as you can see, I'm just activating my chain here to make sure that the same value is applied both to the top and the bottom. And I also need to do the same for left and right. So now you can see it's got some space around it and it's much easier to read. So the next stage is to come over here to filters and I'm also going to set my blend mode to screen. So pretty much we're done here. Let me go ahead and save. And then now the next stage is to also add another text module. So I'm gonna click on this plus button, search for my text module and select it. So here we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to add a link to this test text. So I'm just gonna add my link here. So mine is just gonna be a um, dummy link. And then I'm also going to add a background background gradient. So I'm going to click here on the second tab. And um, as we did before, we're going to start adding our two colors here. So I'm going to click on this plus button, click on the first color and paste my value in here. Click on the second color. And again, I am going to paste my value. All right, the next stage now is to set our gradient and this is going to be 235. Now it's time to customize our text. So I'm gonna come over here to design text. And this again is going to be monster rats. And uh, for our font weight, I'm gonna set this to heavy and the style, it needs to be underlined. And the text color 
needs to be white. Now it's time to add our sizes. So I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit and change this from 14 pixels to 1.5 VW. And my line height this time is going to be 1 EM. So as you can see here, there's a lot of text. So ideally, if this is going to be a link, it just needs to be uh, pretty much, you know, at the most two words. So I'm just gonna come back here quickly, go into text and I'm just gonna say, let's go. Oh, click here. So I'm just gonna say, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna come back over here to the design tab. So again, we need to give this some breathing space. So to do that, we need to add some padding. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and here on padding, we're gonna set our top and bottom padding to 2VW. And we also need to add the left and right padding because we want our spacing to be uh, on all sides here. So I'm gonna add my left and uh, activate my chain. So now you can see everything looks much better. So for this to really stand out on this background, we also need to change the color of this text. So I'm gonna come back over here to my text and I'm gonna set my text color here to black. And then I'm gonna save. Right, so what we're gonna do now to save us uh, time to redesign everything uh, for our next two columns, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate the first column here. So I'm just gonna delete this one here because there's nothing in there. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this one here twice. So now we can see that uh, we've just uh, added the same contents. So all we have to do now is to go in and customize this to make it look different from the others. And then we're gonna save. Now the next stage is to come over here to this text module and change the uh, colors. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this gear icon, click on background. And we are going to change these colors just to uh, differentiate our columns. So I'm gonna add my first color, add my second color. So we're gonna save this for now. Now we also need to go into second column, text module. And what we're gonna do here is we are going to add a box shadow. So I'm gonna come over here to design, box shadow. And the one we're gonna go with is this one right here. So I'm gonna select it. So let's add our blur strength. So here, it currently it's set to 18. I'm gonna set this to 20. And the spread strength, this needs to be 17 pixels. And then now I'm gonna add my shadow color. So I'm gonna click on this eyedropper tool and then just add my value between these brackets. Now, if you want to add the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so moving on. So the column two, text module three, we also need to apply the same kind of settings. So I'm gonna save this for now. And then I'm gonna go into this text module. And then I'm gonna come over here to background, choose my first color, replace this first color here. And then I'm also going to add my second color. So I'm just uh, overriding what we had before here. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so now you can see this design pretty much matches what we have here at the top. So this is what we need to continue doing. So if we come over here now, the next part is to work on um, the uh, background colors of column three. So as we did before here, you just need to go in and uh, add your colors. So you just need to uh, continue with this process, come over here to background, replace your first color here, and then go to the second color. And again, you want to replace what we have here by default. So what we're doing here is to just um, get a different style of these columns. So that's the main thing that we're doing here. So now that we've added these, this is pretty much uh, looking really, really uh, interesting. So you wanna also do the same thing here to the bottom. So I'm gonna come over here, click on background, add my color, replace my first color, and then I'm just gonna save, and then we're gonna do a final preview. So I'm gonna save this page and exit the visual builder. So pretty much this is our design. Now, Check this out, if you take a look here, we have this hover effect, which looks really nice, and it's working on all the columns. So if you take a look here at the bottom as well, that looks really, really nice. 
Okay, so go ahead, try it out and uh, see how it works for you. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.